Donny Gold play as selected. Then goes Noel McCall. Full back line Matt Gallagher, Des Newton, Tommy McDermott. Half back line Michael Carr, Brendan Dunleavy, Brian Chewy. Midfield Martin Griffin and Mickey Lafferty. Half forward line Sylvester Maguire, Anthony Malloy and Donald Reed. Full forward line Paul McGettigan, Joyce McMullen and Martin McHugh. The Donegal County Board wish to welcome the very large crowd for this Centenary Cup match between Donegal and Kerry. The Kerry team will be coming on the field in a minute and there's one change on the Kerry team. Ger Power taking over from Tommy Doyle at right half back. Kerry are coming onto the field now and so we welcome the men of Kerry in the blue jersey of Munster because of the clash of colours. So Kate Mila Falcha Riv Wirum Kiri. Falcha Mish Riv Kiri. In goals, Charlie Nelligan, Dingle. Full back line, Paddy O'Shea of Gaeltacht. Vincent O'Connor, Dingle. Mick Spillane, Temple No. Half back line, number 18, Ger Power. Centre half back, John Higgins. Left half back, Donald Hartnett. Midfield, Jack O'Shea and Tom Spillane. Half forward line, Timmy O'Dowd, Donny. Ogie Moran and Pat Spillane. Full forward line Dermot Donahue, Bomber Liston and Mike Sheehy. from the McCool's Club inside the main gate there you'll see three cars two Fords and an Opel and there are the prizes along with £6,000 and the McCool's draw now the tickets are £25 each the draw is on the 6th of May and it's three cars and £6,000 worth of prizes the tickets are on sale round the ground so that's for the McCool's Club and the prizes as you see Excellent. Again, the teams Donegal has selected Noel McCall in goals, Matt Gallagher of Ballantra, right back, Des Newton of Urras, full back, Tommy McDermott of Arua Valley Shannon, left back. The half back line Michael Carr of Kilcar, Brendan Dunleavy of McCool's, and Brian Chewy of Arua Valley Shannon. Midfield, both McCool's, Martin Griffin and Michael Lafferty. Half forward line, Sylvester Maguire of Arua Valley Shannon, Anthony Malloy, Vardara, Donald Reed of Bundorn. Full forward line, Paul McGettigan of St. Eunan's, Joyce McMullen of Four Masters, and Martin McHugh of Kilcar. Today is Warwick Gorman of Sligo. We're on video here. Frank King, Frank King, Chairman of the County Board. 
You're very welcome, Frank. Thanks very, very well. much. Thank you. Good crowd today. Oh, marvellous crowd out here. We're delighted to see such a very big crowd here. Yes. And um, we're delighted with the reception that we have got. Uh, and uh, we hope we'll have a very good game of football, and I'm sure we will. And uh, we hope that our visit to Donegal will be of help and benefit to uh, the Gaelic Athletic Association here in Donegal. Donegal, we're very lucky to get you. Well, a, lot, a lot of our teams would have liked to get you as well. Well, maybe so, like, you know, but I mean, I think, uh, you know, we in Kerry over the past number of years, uh, we have indicated that we are prepared to come out of Kerry and help the weaker counties. Not, we don't consider Donegal to be a weak county, oh. you know, and we have the highest uh, respect for them. Yeah. But it's only right that a Kerry like, uh, county like Kerry, who have been to the forefront in Gaelic football over the past number of years, should come out and uh, help the promotion of the game everywhere they possibly can. And we're delighted to be here. The result? There's a Ford Granada well, NZP 525 and I would be hoping for a Kerry NZP win, but above all, five. I think that we have a good game of football from two Again, good teams. Again, we welcome Kerry, and it's a great tribute yeah. to Thanks very much, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. such a magnificent crowd has come here, and it's certainly due to the presence of the Kerry team with their great tradition, most of these men having won the Polo Islands with Kerry. Excuse me. I would like to face the camera. I'm Mick O'Dwyer here at Kerry Tinner. Sean Griffin from Donegal Town. Mick, you're very welcome, Donegal. Hello, Sean. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Great yes. crowd today anyway, isn't good it? Good I was crowd. just saying there a minute ago that it's a good job there. A couple of other important games in the area. You have Tyrone, I think, playing Kildare right. and Cork playing Gary. That's right. I don't think you'd have been able to hold the crowd if no. they were away from home today. We're delighted you brought us in a strong team with you as well. We're afraid maybe you might have took a weak team with you. No, we have a reasonably good side. We're missing Sean Welch and Tommy Dial out of our back line from yeah. the team played in the league. But beyond that, we have a very good, we have a strong team today. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Connor's a good friend of yours in Donegal Town. Oh, Tom Connor, he is, of course, a great friend of mine. Yeah, and Tom did fantastic work with the under 21, and I suppose he achieves a lot. He brought the first All Ireland title to Donegal, and right. that was an achievement in itself, you know. A very yeah. genuine man, oh, yeah. known, but yeah. he puts a lot of work into the game. Expecting the one easy today, are you? Well, we're not expecting to win easy at all. I think if we get over by a pint or two, maybe we might be lucky to get away at all today out of this place, you know. Yeah. But we're building up for the championship, that's what we're at. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get players, and you know, we've we, 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 we also tried a few other players, and we'll be hoping to introduce a few as the game go on as well. You're getting number looking? I don't know all about that. What <laughs> <laughs> do you think, Sean? Yes, I this is fit as when he was playing in the All Ireland himself when he won the medal and what was it uh, your many to all you won uh, four All Irelands and All-Ireland. beaten in five of them so he's looking, I, I hadn't a great record. He's looking as good as the first day without in Crow Park in the first All Ireland. That's powerful. Well, let's hope it's a good game, anyway, Mick. Let's hope so anyway. That's the most important thing of all. Okay, thank you. Full forward, Owen Bomber Liston, 
and top of the left, Mikey Sheehy. Alterovga Park, Vakul, August Tamadre, and Ishla Tusakura, Rochlia, Kayan Parigo, Gorman, Ishtahan Leroy, August Ishe Martin Moro Grifa, Ayedane, Martin Griffin, Joyce McMullen locking it down, and it's a Kerry ball. A marvellous crowd here must be McCool Park's biggest ever crowd for this centenary cup match between Donegal and Kerry. Pat Spillane, fouled by Michael Carr. Donny Hartnett, Donny Hartnett, one of the new men on the Kerry team. Going for the bomber Liston, blocked down by Des Newton to Jack O'Shea, kick blocked down, coming loose and got away by Brendan Dunleavy to Paul McGettigan. Paul McGettigan into the space. Donald Reid running for it. Jer Power along with him. Reid has won it. Reid still has it. Picked up there then by Martin McHugh. Martin's shot coming in. Up goes Anthony Malloy. Breaks it down. But the Kerry defenders gather it up. And at that end of the field now it's Jack O'Shea. Who a minute ago had been on the other 14 yard line. Sorry. Charlie Nelligan's kick out. Well held there by Brendan Dunleaving. Sorry, by Brian Tuey. Matt Gallagher going across, taking it well. Back to Tommy McDermott. To Martin McHugh. Martin gets the fist in there. Body Shea. Corey Gorman throws the ball in, up they go. Paul McGettigan gets it down to Martin McHugh. The long ball to Malloy. Anthony keeps it in. And Kerry coming away, it's coming across this time to Sylvester Maguire. Sylvester, good ball to Paul McGettigan. Paul taking the shot, that'll be no problem for Charlie Nelligan. Charlie getting the ball out to Ger Power. Ger Power getting it further out to Jack O'Shea. Jack O'Shea moving it into Ger Power. Ger Power into the spade to Mick Spillane. Mick Spillane hitting the bomber. Des Newton on top of him. Bomber Liston has it. Is he fouled by Des? He's going through Des Newton. Still has it. He's fouled. It's a free in for Kerry. And it's Mike Sheehy, naturally going to take this free for Kerry from 17 or 18 yards to give Kerry a chance to take the lead. And over the bar, a point by Mike Sheehy for Kerry. Noel McCall with the kick out. Punched down there. And it's Martin Griffin. Inside to Joyce McMullen. Coming now to Donald Reed. Donald's still going. Getting it back there now to Sylvester Maguire. The Bally Shannon man, it goes astray, but only to Michael Carr. Men screaming for it. Carr still has it, gets it up. And it's a free for Donegal on the 50 yard line. Mick Spillane penalised. And so Martin McHugh's first chance.
Tom Spillane standing in front of him there. Moves back now. Almost 50 yards. And it's just gone wide. Kahalo Nielagain. I got a Wulu Amach. Kinshot a Kerry Kerry one point, Donegal no score. Another fine kick. Griffin's ball. But it breaks down to Jack O'Shea to Pat Spillane. Back to Jacko. And it's still Jack O'Shea. And he takes a shot, but it's gone wide. Very fluid moving by the Kerry team there. Spillane and O'Shea combining well. Noel McCall to take the kick out. Tom Spillane getting it down. Tommy McDermott coming across. Tommy getting it into Donald Reed, but it's booted away by Ger Power to Ogie Moran. Ogie Moran going for the bomber, but this time it's too long. And it's a line ball for Donegal. Tommy McDermott himself going across to take it. Well taken there by McHugh. Inside to McGettigan, but it goes astray. Spillane. Attention for a minute, please. A man has collapsed behind the goals, not the river goals. If there's a doctor here, could he please go behind the goal, behind Noel McCall's goal, please? And so Martin Griffin over there, along with Martin McHugh. Martin himself is going to take the free. No, he's changed his mind now. And Joyce McMullen is going to take it from about 40 yards out. Donna Reid, kick blocked down, comes back out now to Michael Carr, shows the ball free out. Charlie Nelligan to take the kick out. Kerry still a point ahead. Sylvester Maguire doing well early on, but this ball is fairly central and it comes easily to Poddy Shea. Poddy Shea moving it across there, the boat to Pat Spillane eventually. Pat Spillane. Up there goes Brian Tuey, and two Donegal men go up and it goes loose to the Kerry man Dowd. Dowd across to Ogie Moore and Brendan Levy's covering well. Brendan comes out with it, throw the hand now covered by Ogie Moore, but Brendan's still going. Brendan away into McHugh's corner, Poddy Shea is covering, Poddy gets this one, still has it, Martin hassling him there, Poddy Shea coming out with it, free to Kerry. Ger Power to take this free for Kerry. Blocked down there by Donald Reid. Donald hitting the ball in, but again the Kerry defence come out. Comes back to Paul McGettigan. Paul McGettigan going for Anthony Malloy. Can Paul get it, but it's the Kerry centre half back. John Higgins, one of the new men on the Kerry team. Holds on to it too long, says referee Porik Gorman, and it's a free for Donegal.
Martin McHugh to take this one. Again, it will be suitable for the left-footed kicker. But it's a very, very acute angle here for Martin on the 14-yard line, virtually. Oh, hits the post, unlucky, and it comes back out to Paddy Shea. Paddy Shea, the long ball into the middle of the field where Mickey Lafferty breaks it down. But it's another Kerry man, O'Dowd. O'Dowd on the ball to Tom Spillan. Spillan, the long high ball inside. Des Newton going across. Tommy McDermott hesitating. Des comes out with it and does well and gives it to Mickey Lafferty. Mickey Lafferty, the long ball through now. And out comes Donny Goldfull forward. Joyce, Joyce McMullen and Jack O'Shea. And it's a Kerry ball, a line ball for Kerry. Joyce perhaps feeling it should have been a free for Donegal. Certain amount of confusion. And it's a Kerry line ball. Another mighty kick by O'Shea. Des Newton going up with Bomber Liston. Des breaks it down to Brendan Levy getting it out well to Mickey Lafferty. Mickey now carrying it a bit. Hassle there by... Uh, Liston, the ball going inside. McHugh trying to break it down, but it only comes loose to Jack O'Shea. Jack O'Shea to Paddy Shea, Paddy Shea to beautiful ball to Pat Spillane, covered by Michael Carr. Spillane to his brother Tom. Tom Spillane in space, hitting it inside to Donahue, and the ball comes to Pat Spillane. Pat Spillane taking the shot, and it's a lovely shot, and it's over the bar. Lovely moving by the Kerry forward line there, putting the Donegal defence under a lot of pressure and a well taken point by Pat Spillane. Kerry certainly looking quite impressive so far in this game. Noel McCall. Jack O'Shea and Martin Griffin going up and the ball breaks down and it comes again to Ogie Moore and Ogie Moore and travelling at speed right through the defence, goes through two of them there, he still has it, he takes a shot. And it's Des Newton coming across, fumbles it a bit, he still has it now. Tackled by Owen Liston, Des Newton coming out and the oldest man gets it up there where it breaks to Donald Reid. Des Newton was fouled after he got rid of the ball and so it's a free for Donegal. Brian Tuey, who captained the Donegal team that won the All-Ireland Under-21 and has now regained his place on the Donegal senior team, Magartha from Ballyshannon. Michael Carr. Michael still going there, followed by Pat Spillane. Michael goes through them. He's still coming ahead. Can he take the shot? Michael takes the shot. And it's gone wide. Good effort there by Michael Carr, one of Donegal's Ulster Railway Cup winning men. One of the four Donegal men who took part in the Railway Cup final along with Tommy McDermott, Martin McHugh and Mickey Lafferty. Charlie Nelligan to take the kick out. Another mighty kick. Brian Suey going up behind there and getting it. Rather aimless sort of kick, but out comes full forward Joyce McMullen. Does well to take it down, but he fouls young Higgins there, and it is a free kick for Kerry. John Higgins leaving it be there now for the fullback Vincent O'Connor from Dingle. Not a good ball, and it gets Paul McGettigan free. He gives the ball. Then well to Joyce McMullen. Joyce coming through again now. Still Joyce going. Joyce is fouled and it's a chance for Donegal to score as Joyce is fouled as he's going through. And so Martin McHugh now with a free kick 25 yards out. Dead straight in front of the goals. And it should give the Donegal supporters something to cheer about. There she is. 2-1. to one. So halfway through the first half, it's Kerry 2, Donegal 1, Martin McHugh pointing there for Donegal. Charlie Nelligan again with these mighty kickouts. This one again going up to the 50 yard line and Bomberliston going up for it there and breaking it to himself. Sends a 
Long ball across there, but Tommy McDermott does well. Tommy's kick is blocked down by O'Dowd. O'Dowd inside to Jack O'Shea. Jack O'Shea across to the left corner forward, who takes the shot, and it's gone wide. The left corner forward being, of course, none other than Mikey Sheehy. Sorry, Ben. Somebody shouts that they're only an ordinary team, but so far Kerry have looked a little bit above the ordinary. Michael, Noel McCall with a kick out. Michael Carr going to go up here. Three Donegal men up, but fortunately Matt Geller had stayed down and gives it to Anthony Malloy, who is John Higgins covering him. But Anthony, a bit of space inside to Donald Reid. Donald Reid being tackled there by Jar Power. Is he being fouled by Jar Power? The referee lets play on, and it's McHugh running through them. He's fouled, and it's a free for Donegal and a chance for Martin McHugh to equalise. The same distance out from the goal as the last time. The angle a little bit more tough, but a certain chance for Donegal to equalise. Martin, I think, has gained himself a yard or two, maybe. And for a left-footed kicker, it's not a difficult shot. And she curls right and it's over the bar, it's the equaliser. Looked for a while. Kerry have immediately switched. Tom Spillane into full forward. Taking the bomber out midfield on Mickey Lafferty. Nelligan. And up he goes immediately. Well judged there. And Pat Spillane coming through there. Followed by Matt Gallagher. Matt does well to break it down. Matt trying to get it away. Doesn't succeed. Mickey Lafferty has it. Mickey trying to get room now. And Mickey gets the room. And he gets it away up there. And well taken there by Reid. Donald Reid. Fouled by Vincent O'Connor. Free for Donegal on the 50. Good gritty defence there by Matt Gallagher and Mickey Lafferty leading to this chance for Martin McHugh, dead on the 50 yard line, giving Donegal a lead. There's hardly any wind here. Malloy break, punches it down to Maguire. Is Maguire pushed? The referee says no, play on. He gets it out to Michael Carr. Michael is fouled and it's a free in. And now Martin McHugh has a certain chance. On the 21-yard line, the referee moves it inside. It's an 18-yarder now, and so this should be the lead for Donegal. No problem. Martin McHugh three points, Kerry two. And the lesser lights in the Donegal forward line like Donald Reid and Sylvester Maguire shaping up very well here. Another mighty kick by Nelligan. As list oh it's Griffin! McGettigan, Dunleavy coming through them and booting it away far side, Joyce does well to keep it in oh does excellently still has it but touches it on the ground free to carry mighty leaping there first of all by Martin Griffin then by Joyce McMullen the carry free Paddy Shea Kerry's All-Stars. Again accurately going for Bomber List and two of them go up but the Bomber comes down with it. And well cut out by Matt Gallagher. And a Kerryman comes across. Matt is penalised but a little bit harsh one feels. And so a chance for Kerry to equalise. Matt intercepting well there. And then in a desperate effort to get the ball away the boot flew in, but the referee said it was dangerous play. Mike Sheehy. And he 
sends it wide. A rare error there by Mike Sheehy, the usually very accurate carry forward. And so with six or seven minutes of this first half going, things going well for Donegal. Three points to two ahead, having fought back from a two-point deficit. Noel McCall's kick. Up goes Michael Carr, blocks it down to Matt Gallagher, which was what he intended to do. Up she goes now, Donald Reid coming in, but Anthony Malloy makes it to McHugh. McHugh and O'Shea, and Oak McHugh has it, and he's proving a handful for Paddy Shea. And it's still Martin McHugh, and it's still Martin McHugh. And then the kick inside, and Charlie Nelligan to Paddy Shea, to Ger Power, to Jack O'Shea, and the long ball. Tom Spillane going for it. Donahue. Donahue. Still Dermot Donahue. To Pat Tom Spillane. The ball inside, but it should be Michael Cars. Ooh, Michael fumbles, but recovers and gets it out to Tommy McDermott. And Tommy McDermott, Cooley, taking it out of defence and getting it long there. Joyce and Vincent O'Connor. It comes now to O'Dowd. O'Dowd inside to Vincent O'Connor. Vincent O'Connor to Ger Power. Ger Power followed by Brian Dewey. Ger getting the kick in. Michael Carr and Pat Spillane. Michael Carr again breaks it down to Tommy Mack. Tommy Mack to Mickey Lafferty. Lovely play by the Donegal defence. Mickey Lafferty to Michael Carr. Michael stepping and a free in. A free for Kerry for over carrying there by Michael Carr. And so Mike Sheehy has a chance to make amends with a free kick from exactly the same position as the one he missed a couple of minutes ago. Beside him there, Pat Spillane. Michael Carr facing the kick. Sheehy's kick is more accurate this time and it just goes over the bar. And so... Five or six minutes of this first half to go. Noel McCall setting it. Three points each. Magnificent crowd here in McCool Park today as Noel McCall takes the kick out. Fine kick this time. Far side, Griffin going up, blocked down, and it comes eventually to Ger Power. Ger Power, the long ball to Tommy McDermott. Tommy breaks it down to Brendan Dunleavy, and Brendan gets it back to Matt Gallagher. And Matt sends it long there to Joyce McMullen. Joyce trying to break it down, but it's Bomber Liston to Ger Power. Ger Power trying to find Dermot Donahue. He does find Dermot Donahue, and he speeds past Tommy McDermott there. And he's still coming inside. And he's still coming, and he takes a shot there then, and it's gone wide. Great bit, burst of speed there by Dermot O'Donoghue, one of the new men on the Kerry team. Four of the Kerry team, not as well known as the immortal four in a row men. The full back Vincent O'Connor, who was a sub during the great campaign. Centre half John Higgins, and the right side of the attack O'Donoghue and O'Dowd. And that's O'Dowd on the ball now, and he gets it, but it's blocked block down, and it comes to. O'Donoghue, Dermot O'Donoghue, forced away back into his 50, gets the ball in there now and it should be easy for Brendan Dunleavy. Brendan Long to Donald Reid, beautiful ball to Mickey Lafferty, Mickey in plenty of space, can he take the point? He takes the shot but not the point. Comes out to Vincent O'Connor, Vincent O'Connor to the bomber list and moving across there now, way back on his own side of the field and now he's nearly out for a 50 but he still has it and he gets it out to Martin McHugh, no it's a 50. An uncharacteristic error there by the Kerry defence. And so Martin McHugh has another chance now to send Donegal back into the lead again. Most entertaining game. He goes short this time to Mickey Lafferty. Mickey takes the shot, but not one of Mickey's better shots. It's gone wide. Certainly Donegal have surveyed the first 25 minutes of the game well. There's a problem now with the ball which appears to be too soft down there. They're looking for another one. Nobody seems to be too anxious but eventually it's kicked out there by Gary Welch. Frank Kelly.
Kelly of Edenoch Hill Kelly Gordon go to the main entrance please Frank Kelly of Edenoch Hill Kelly Gordon to the main entrance please Eden Ochelman Frank Kelly Fisted on but Brendan Dunleavy should be getting that one Brendan goes down Lovely play to his club mate Mickey Lafferty and Mickey the long ball into the space but it's filled with Kerryman Joyce fighting back Bomber Liston breaks it Higgins touched it on the ground free in Corey Gorman of Sligo is the referee and another 50 yard free for Donegal Martin McHugh again Martin hasn't pointed any of the 50 yards yet be near enough Joyce a point That was an excellent point under pressure by Joyce McMullen to give Donegal the lead again, four points to three. Donegal doing extremely well so far, remembering that this Kerry team is in the National League final and presumably in good trim for it. Out she comes, this side of the field, Pat Spillan. One of the great names in the game. And Des Newton gets it down, but only to Ogie Moore and followed now by Des Newton. Ogie's on the ground, Ogie's up. Still Ogie Moran, getting it back to Jacko. Jack O'Shea's kick is going in, it's harmless, it's gone wide. And so coming near enough to the interval now, Donegal up point ahead, four to three. And despite Donegal's Ulster final victory and despite their newly attained status in the game, it would be a major surprise if they knocked Kerry out of the centenary. Anthony Malloy and John Higgins. John has it. Anthony holds him and it's a free out. Paddy Shea. August and Farshaws. The Kruger. Nagiri. Quirin Shane Lero de Stach. Bomber list in a gold suit, Stagan Shane, Nusko, Yodonahu, Odonahu, Ishta, and Ishta Shay, Yoduda, Oduda, Dahiri, Janter Kali, Shere, the Seer Hikatan, Dahiri, Brandon Nodu, Nleva, Yanisha Kali, Shere, Neil Jazu, No Nutan Sasta, and Rachel Pari, Go Gorman, Yaskarchi, or Des Newton. And Des Newton rather foolishly there getting himself booked, free given. And so now it's a chance for Kerry to equalise. The referee don't, not punishing Donegal for the descent by moving the ball in. He's giving the free on the original place but Des Newton is booked. And so it's the equaliser for Kerry there. The point taken from the free by Dermot O'Donoghue. Donegal unhappy with the awarding of that free, regarding it as, an illeg as a legitimate dispossession of the Kerry forward. Murray Gorman gave the free, booked as Newton. Noel McCall takes the kick out. Up they go, Martin Griffin going high, breaking it down, but only to a Kerry man, Denzel O'Dowd. Timmy O'Dowd. What's that? Timmy O'Dowd leaving it there and. Paddy Shano. Donny Gold will be anxious to keep it like this to the interval. Body Shea's kick is long there, dangerous ball. Griffin being fouled there by Jack O'Shea and the free out given. And so, so far it's been a 
very entertaining game, some beautiful moves by Kerry and a fine gritty performance by Donegal with everybody reasonably happy so far. Noel McCool's kick out coming to Paul McGettigan but oh way higher goes Jack O'Shea. Comes loose to O'Dowd. Gets it across there to Ogie Moore and Ogie slips Tommy McDermott. Des Newton coming out with Pat Sp Tom Spillane and well taken there by Mickey Lafferty. John Higgins getting it away there from Anthony Malloy. Matt Gallagher, and there goes the half time whistle, four points each at half time. And a round of applause encircling McCool Park for a good first half performance by Donegal in an entertaining first half. <laughs> the Donegal under 21 panel should go to the dressing room now. Donegal under 21 panel. To remind you again of the McCool's, the Shan McCool's club draw. Three cars to be won. £6,000. Tickets are £25 each and they're being sold round the field. The draw on the 6th of May. That's an aid of Sean McCool's club. The under-21 panel need, need to go after the game, immediately after the game, not at half time. immediately after the game. Ah! That's D! And so the letter Kenny Accordion Band will now form the letters K for Kerry and D for Donegal in their half-time musical entertainment. Secretary of the County Board, Brandon Neal, also Council Representative. Oh boys, how do you think it's going, Brandon? I think Donegal are played very well, uh, but it seems that Kerry are completely out of it at the moment, with Jack not starting at the moment in the middle of the field. Yeah. And, the bomber, uh, the bomber's going very far back, isn't he's he? He's going very far back, and there's some logical when they see him that far back, and he's not playing that good either. No. They're not getting the balls that they would normally get. Paul McGettigan in there, uh, third midfielder's helping as well. Well, he's confusing the Kerry team in a way, as far as I can see, Paul McGettigan, but uh, but I can see Carrier under pressure at the moment because Jack O'Shea is not in the game at all. He's resorting to foul Martin Griffin and the bomber is playing very deep into his own backline and which means that they're under pressure. So I think our boys are doing very well at the moment. Seamus Gallagher, Tom 21, team, current team manager. Look up the other way. Look up this way. Seamus? Yes. If you're uh, the manager now, how do you feel? Uh, well, I think well. Donegal are playing very well. The backs is playing very, very well, you know. Mm -hmm. And if we've got a few more scores, I reckon we can beat uh, Kerry today. Yeah. And I reckon the second half will be a great second half. And uh, I think that uh, Martin Griffin is really uh, keeping Jack O'Shea completely at bay, you know. Yes. And the backs are playing very, very well. Des playing well, I think. Yeah, Des Newton is playing well. Uh, especially when Michael Dwyer had to go and listen to centre field. You must have something badly wrong there, you know, because we're winning most of the balls at centre field, you know. Would 
would you would you make any changes or would you just let them let them sit? No, I wouldn't. I would. Uh, I'd be inclined to take Martin McHugh out to half forward line. This out to the half forward line. Take him uh, uh, take him out for the, for this half. Because I think Donegal have played better and towards those goals, the town goals. Yeah. This half, you know. But one of the things maybe make that be better. So now the trip to Kerry by the Patrick Kenny band. We see I think the one there, you know, sort of coming across the pitch now, that might make a difference to Donegal, although they'll be playing a sort of against. But Martin McHugh, at the angles he can shoot at, yeah. that might be an advantage in the second half, the way the one is blown. The referee? Very good game. Yeah, Very sure. good game, yes. Sometimes uh, uh, I thought Donegal man had to get fouled twice. Well, yeah. Uh, up on the Des Newton, I thought was a hard decision, but I think the foul was on Jack O'Shea beforehand. Uh, but I think the ref is having a very good game. He's letting the game flow and he's letting good hard tackles flow. That's yeah. the main thing about yeah. it, you know. Generally speaking, it's a good game, Ram. Oh, brilliant game. Uh, and the crowd, brilliant. And I, I didn't think they were packed as tight. No. It's brilliant. I must say, the day. biggest crowd ever was in McCool Park. Crowd, that was in McCool Park. Yeah. I don't think any other park in the county would accommodate them. Then go what should you one. say? Then he go all to one. Good. Thanks very much, boys. Hey, I think it's a good level game. Yeah. Any team will want it. Oh no, Cameron. Okay, well. Okay, okay, okay. PJ, you know? Yes, yeah, sure. First of all, yeah, yeah, not so bad. Join us? Yep. So far, so good. Yes. Do you reckon Donny will beat them? I think they will now. Think so, no? Yeah, there's a good chance to carry now, are you? What's the score now? Half time? Draw, four, four each. Three. Don't even know what the score is when you ask some questions. You're so mad for it, Good day, isn't it? Yes. Uh, oh, fantastic. Thanks very much, boys. What a some days. A few words, Parik, for the camera. You enjoying the game? Beautiful. Are you enjoying the game? It's a good game of football. Yeah. No question at all about that. You know, it's it's even very evenly contested. It's, the main thing I'm happy about is it's very fairly contested. Yeah. This is the point about it. Obviously, you can see possibly the bite of championship football isn't in it, but um, the team two teams have obviously come here to entertain, and I think yeah, uh, doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. You're having a very good, you're having a good game yourself. Oh well. Yeah. Well, I'm to see that. Thank you. Ah. Okay, Parik. Thanks. Team Captain Michael Lafferty here, got a few words, Michael. Excuse me, Michael. You happy, Michael, with the things going? You happy uh, with the things are going? Reasonably happy, Sean. Yes. Uh, we missed a good few scoring opportunities. Yes. And uh, this time we feel we have every chance of winning the game now. We've got the breeze. Good. We're playing into the so-called... How's the hands? Goals. Standing up very well. Don't Great feel a thing. Good luck, Michael. Team manager, how are you feeling, Brian? Not so bad, Sean. Disappointed so far. How are you? I'm not happy with the performance. I love the lads. The defence is good. Defence is good, but up front we're not doing our business. No. So still okay, all the same. Well, look. Alright. 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 No, we're on now. 
Right. We're on now. Pat this moment, how do you feel? I'm reasonably happy with the way they performed in the first half, but we've had a lot of chances that we didn't take. And if we don't start scoring, we're not going to win. How do you feel about the ref? Um, I feel the referee is doing a fine job. It's just that uh, we're not all 15 of our players are not really playing. There's still a few lads that are looking a bit overawed by yeah, the fact that they're playing Kerry. Yeah. And if they can get their game together this half, yeah. you know, we could be going places. Good luck to you in Croke Park. Thanks PJ, very much, good luck so. to you in Croke Park. In the second half, Galway are leading Leitrim by 1-4 to 3 points. Dublin, Westmeath are level and Limerick are 8 points up at half time in the National Hurling League final. <laughs> Mickey Lafferty. Fouls Pat Spillan, it's a free to carry. I think he's okay, one is always a wee bit concerned now with an injury to Pat Spillan having been out of the game for a while, but he seems to be okay now as he moves on again. Jack O'Shea takes the kick. Bomber Liston goes up for it, but so do three Donny Goldman, but Liston gets it. He charges in and it's a free in. And so Mike Sheehy having a chance to give Kerry the early lead again in the second half. He scored the first point of the game. And he scores this one too. It's five to four. The height of Liston in there. Very, very difficult to combat. Especially since Donegal have Martin Griffin midfield in the last couple of games. Noel McCall's kick. Coming on this side of the field, Mickey Lafferty going for it. He breaks it down, but only to Jer Power. Jer Power followed by Donald Reed. Jer getting the ball into the space. Des Newton going back there with Mike Sheehy. Des is fouled, and it's a free out. Leaving that one to Tommy McDermott to take. Jack O'Shea in the middle of the field urging his Kerry men on as Tommy is going to take this kick now. Came on as a sub in the Railway Cup final. Captain of the Erua Club this year. The kick goes into the middle of the field where Bomber Liston goes up, breaks it down to Martin Griffin. Martin Griffin, the long ball inside between Joyce and Vincent O'Connor. Joyce gets his hand to it and gets it through to Donald Reed. There's a man free inside. Donald can get to him. He does. The shot by Malloy and the points. Donald Reid doing well there to get the ball inside to Anthony Malloy, whose shot went over the bar. And so Donegal keeping step with them. Charlie Nelligan. Again, way out here. Up goes Griffin and Spillane. Spillane has it. He's on the ground. Over beside us here. Challenged by Lafferty. Spillane to Ger Power. Ger Power pushed in the back by Donald Reid. And it's... It goes to Kerry, whether it's for the sideline or for the push, it's a Kerry ball. Pat, 
Mick Spillane is taking this one, one of the three Spillane brothers on the Kerry team. Again going for Bomber Liston and Liston knocking it down to Tommy McDermott. Tommy McDermott to Paul McGettigan. Paul McGettigan toe to hand, no much need for that. Then the drop kick going up to Anthony Malloy. Two Kerrymen going up there. Anthony gets it down to Martin. Martin McHugh loses it. He gets a knock in the process. The ball coming out there to Bomber Liston. Brendan Levy getting the fist in. Paul McGettigan coming across again. Can't make it. Saint Lane ball. Martin McHugh is down there. There didn't seem to be anything particularly malicious in it at the time. He was surrounded by a couple of Kerry men, but he's on the ground. Kieran McCready certainly thinks there's something malicious at it as he's giving one of his well-known lectures there to Pori Gorman, Brian McAniffin now. Martin's on the ground. Martin seems to have taken a hard enough knock in there. And again, like Pat Spillane, Martin's career has been plagued by the odd injury here and there. And indeed, it looks quite serious there. There seems to be a lot of blood, I think, on Martin's jersey. Jimmy McDay, the Donegal doctor, going in there as well. It would seem that he did get a crack in the nose or in the mouth. Yeah, he seems to be bleeding quite, quite profusely there. And certainly this would be a tragic blow to Donegal if Martin couldn't continue. He seems to be in a certain amount of agony there. Again, looking at it from here, there didn't seem to be any great evil intent on the part of the Kerry tacklers. But it does look as if Martin McHugh is coming off. Whatever happened and that we haven't the gift of the instant replay, but it looks as if Martin is coming off and I suppose... Kieran Keeney or Declan Boner would be the natural replacement. He's certainly in a lot of pain and what seemed to be. And there's blood all over the face. And this is a terrible blow for Donegal. Certainly their best player. And one of the county's, country's best players. And he's coming off and this is a really serious blow. Kieran Keeney is in the game. An experienced player, Kieran, of course. Going, getting his first touch now. Followed by Porrick. Body Shea. Kieran's ball is a good ball across to his club mate Malloy, but it's fisted out. Out goes. Was there a push? No, there wasn't a push. And it's still a Donegal man. It's a free in for Donegal. Michael Carr going through a Trojan work there to get the free and gain that free for Donegal. And of course, one of the problems is with Martin away, the place kicking is now in the hands or in the feet of Paul McGettigan. Well, Paul's a left-footed kicker. And this left-footed kick is not accurate enough and it's gone wide. And so Donegal having a chance there to take the lead, but didn't materialise. Six minutes of the second half gone and certainly one hopes that this big loss of Martin McHugh gone will not affect Donegal as much as one might fear. Nelligan's kick out coming to this side of the field. Donald Reid, Ger Power, Tom Spillane. Free for Donegal. Mickey Lafferty himself is going to take it with his left foot. It's 48 yards out. A lot of Boric Paddy Shea giving Kevin Kieran. Oh, and nearly a goal there is. O'Shea eventually recovers, comes out to Mickey Lafferty, spoiled by Tom Spillane, running loose to O'Dowd, O'Dowd across to Michael Carr, Michael Carr on it now, got a man inside him, he goes, goes past his man, gives it inside to Paul McGettigan, Paul runs into trouble, then sends it away out to Malloy, Malloy coming, Higgins covering, Malloy's still on it, can he get the shot in, he does get the kick in, up goes Griffin, he gets a fist, and oh! Very nearly made it. Martin going up with the fist there and it was just inches wide. After a big ball from Malloy. And this crowd is wakening up.
Perhaps McHugh's injury adding a, a little bit extra space to Donegal's game. Spillane, kick blocked down. Sylvester, kick blocked down. Coming then to Michael Carr. Michael Carr on a run. He must be fouled. Referee says play on. And again it comes across this side. Higgins, John Higgins getting it away to cool it down a bit. Big Griff, he has it. Gets it inside nicely to clubmate Lafferty. Lafferty takes a shot from 53 yards. Charlie Nelligan outside to Mick Spillane. Mick Spillane loses it coming out. Comes loose to Donegal. Chance. Chance! Donal Reid was the scorer of that point. Donal Reid took it well. And Donegal playing with a lot of vigour now and really lifting their game. Up they go. What is broken down? Reid trying to get to it. Ger Power. Ger Power, the long ball inside. Des Newton should have that covered. He does. And he's two men waiting for it here. It goes to the second of them. Brendan Dunleavy, inspiring play by Donegal. Ger Power. Cody Shea, chased by Kieran Keeney, coming through chases, chased again, and now it's Mickey Lafferty sandwiched. And this game now taking on more like championship dimensions in the second half. As Donegal smelling blood, Brian Chewy. Up goes McGettigan, down she goes to Reid, and that's a mighty point! No, it swings off, and it's Jack O'Shea. Jack O is being fouled there, and it's a free to Kerry. Donegal now is if they realise that this game can be won, tearing into Kerry and playing with great courage and determination. That Donald Reid shot looked for a while as if it was going all the way. Jack O'Shea. Inside to Ogie Moran. Ogie on the burst. And he's very well tackled there by Matt Geller. He's still going and Matt's still with him. He's still going. He's going to take the shot now. And it's still Matt. And Matt comes away. To McGettigan. And he overdoes it. Mick Spillane, Tom Spillane, McGettigan fighting back, still Tom Spillane, still Tom Spillane, boxing it out, coming now to Mick Sheehy, he's on his right foot, he takes a shot, it curls in, it's gone wide. <laughs> Referee telling Pouring McShee to move to the sideline there. But Austin Coughlin is coming up on the blind side. Noel McCall. Twelve minutes gone. Donegal a point ahead. Noel McCall's kick. Up they go. Bomber goes up. Breaks it down. Comes to Jacko. Jack O'Shea on the burst. Man inside him. Gives it to O'Donoghue. Dermot O'Donoghue. Bounces. He takes a shot. It looks good. It's over the bar. Thirteen minutes gone, the equaliser by Dermot O'Donoghue, the Kerry corner forward. And so a fine, exciting game. Short kick out to Michael Carr. Michael Carr, the long ball, Tom Spillane going up for it. Blocked down by Michael Lafferty, comes to Ger Power. Ger fouled by Michael Lafferty, free for Kerry. Paddy O'Shea going to take this one. one of the well-known figures in the game and this should be Michael Carr's note brought down to the referee blows he doesn't seem to know yeah he's just going to throw it up who's in it 
Bomber Liston's in it anyway, and Griff should be the answer to that. No answer to that. Liston has it. He bursts through again. The referee signals it's a free to carry. Didn't seem for a while that they fouled. Seemed to be a Liston charge. The referee didn't seem to indicate, indicate first where it was going. Mikey Shee to give Kerry the lead. He does. And so Liston proving to be hard to handle in there as this kick is going to be taken by Noel McCall. And it's Liston out here this time again going high, blocking, broken down to Ogie Moore and Ogie Moore into Mick Spillane. Mick Spillane inside to Dermot Donoghue. He's got Pat Spillane with him. Michael Carr is covering him. Spillane in space, coming inside. Taking the fisted pass to the oncoming Joe Ogie Moran. Ogie Moran's kick is blocked down by Tommy Mack. Tommy Mack facing off the challenge and coming up the field himself. Giving the long ball inside to Malloy who stretches to get it. He's a man outside but he's going inside. He can't get rid of it. He's still got a man beside him but he won't give it. He's still going. He's still going. He's fouled, is he? <coughs> <coughs> Mickey Lafferty. What a shot, it's taken by Nelligan. Touche. Perhaps one of the differences here is that Kerry always looking for the loose man. Donegal inclined to lose possession by over-possessing. Carr takes it on the chest. He's fouled and it's a free for Donegal. Pat Spillan a little bit surprised at the decision. A wee bit of a wind blowing now across the field. And certainly an exciting game here now with Brian Tui taking this one. Halfway through the second half, carry a point ahead, 7-6. to six. Brendan Dunleavy. Brendan gets a kick into Griff. Griff gets a kick in. And it's a chance, but it's covered there by John Higgins. John Higgins trying to get out, still trying to get out. He gets it out eventually to his left halfback. Tony Hartnett, Tony Hartnett to Tom Spillane. Tom Spillane holds it with a man going on this side, two men going on this side. It's Spillane on the ball. Pat Spillane, Pat Spillane in space, moving inside, and Matt Gallagher is fouled. Referee says play on, and it's a chance for Kerry to take another point. And it is a point for Kerry to make it 8 to 6. Timmy Dowd on that one. And so Kerry now moving into top gear here, eight to six. With of course McHugh's loss, a severe blow to Donegal. This one comes out and Griffin is going up for it. But Kerry men are there too and it blocks, comes loose eventually to Griffin. Griffin is fouled by Jack O'Shea. It's a free for Donegal, it's 70 yards out nearly. And Donegal would need a score or two now to get Swinging back into this game again. Matt Gallagher is going to take this one. Short, lovely ball. Malloy. It's over the bar. Seventeen minutes gone. Very smartly taken free kick by Matt Gallagher to Anthony Malloy, who took a fine point, eight to seven. And everybody here now on tenter hooks as it's a thrilling close game. Charlie Nelligan's kick out, long again, dropping sixty yards out from the Donegal and taken out of the air there magnificently by Timmy Dowd. Gets it inside to Tom Spillane. Tom Spillane sees Ogie Moore in free. Ogie in a dangerous position. He can't control it first time. Matt comes. Comes out then to Mike Sheehy. Kick blocked down by Brendan Dunleavy. Brendan Dunleavy. The long one out to Martin Griffin. But four carry men there. And Martin goes up behind. The bomber Liston and he gives a free to Kerry. 
Liston being the cause of a lot of concern for Donegal. He's getting a lot of free kicks with his mighty frame. Tremendous leaping. Mike Sheehy, 40 yards. She curls and a let off for Donegal. 18 minutes gone and Donegal getting away there with still a one point deficit Noel McCall Manny Malloy going up behind to Kerryman breaks it down to Brian Suey Brian Suey inside to Paul McGettigan Paul breaks it down coming to Sylvester can Sylvester get the shot in toe to hand gets the shot in now but it's not so good Certainly Donegal have had their chances. Good play there by Anthony Malloy to break it down. Kerry move faster than Donegal, move the ball quicker. Donegal certainly compensating with plenty of grit and determination, putting everything into it. And June the 3rd in Armagh might be the big day, but at the moment this is the big one. <coughs> Malloy going up there now, comes loose. <coughs> to Timmy Dowd, Timmy Dowd quite impressive in this performance here moving it inside to Tom Spillan, Tom Spillan inside to Donoghue, Tommy McDermott gets it and gets it out well to Brian Tuey who is in a lot of space Brian having time now, not being helped too much by some of the movements around him and a woeful ball eventually to Jack O'Shea Jack o', Joyce hanging out of him, Jack o still going and he's still going and Joyce is still after him and Jack o' still going and he gets the ball inside to Pat Spillan, running well. Pat is coming through now, it's a chance for a Kerry point. Pat takes the shot, and it's a point for Kerry. So with 10 minutes left, that was a mistake, a Donegal mistake. Poor pass leading to it, and then Kerry did the rest. O'Shea and Spillan. 10 minutes left, 9 to 7. Anybody's game. Noel McCall's kick out this side of the field. Donald Reed going up. Gets it down, but only to Jack O'Shea, who seems to be coming to now and having a more positive influence on this game. Matt Gallagher running after him. The shot coming in should be Noel McCall's. It's gone wide. goes up again for it but again it's taken down by the bomber Liston this time Liston on the ball he still has it he still has it he's moving with it there being followed by Sylvester Maguire Liston beautiful ball inside to O'Dowd O'Dowd the ball inside the space oh this is dangerous McCall must come he does gets it out handy to Des Newton Des Newton to Sylvester Maguire Maguire being tackled by Donny Hart Maguire gets past him he's still going gets the long ball inside chance here now for Joyce and Higgins picks him up and it's taken by Mick Spillane Mick Spillane to Vincent O'Connor Vincent O'Connor into the midfield to Tom Spillane Tom Spillane looking for the space and a way out there on the left is Mikey Sheehy Mikey now being covered by Brendan Dunleavy tries to sell the dummy doesn't Dunleavy doesn't buy goes back to Pat Spillane Donny Dogie Moore and running there. Oh, a clumsy foul by Des Newton. Gets away with it. Own Liston. Toe to hand. Kerry slowing it down. They're ahead. Another man. Paddy Shea moving on this side. Still moving ahead. Tom Spillane. Tom Spillane out this side. Brian Tuey coming behind. Donahue. Paddy Shea up now for his point. Doesn't get it. And Donegal come away with it. And it's a free for Donegal. <coughs> and this time Paddy Shea is going to be booked. And... And Martin McHugh might be coming back into the game. Martin McHugh is going to come back into the game. McHugh is in the game. <laughs> and so the 10 or 15 minutes where he was off proving quite costly to Donegal and can they now make a grandstand recovery Joyce McMullen is coming off 
Joyce after a bright start, not having the happiest of hours. So in the last seven minutes now, here she goes, up goes to Donny Goldman, but it comes down there to Jar Power. Jar Power chased by Donald Reed. Jar Power inside to Paddy Sheehy. Paddy in a lot of space. Mickey Sheehy in a lot of space. Mikey taking the shot in there. And this one looks to be accurate. Hits a post. Comes out to Brendan Dunleavy. Brendan Levy finds and finds very well Donald Reed. Donald Reed now to Griffin. Griffin to Reed. That's better. Reed wides to Malloy. Malloy comes to it, gets it. Coming up over the halfway. The ball inside, but not very well placed there. And McGettigan going in. It's a free for Kerry, but in. And so the last six minutes of this game now, can Donegal with McHugh back to lift them, do something about it, 9-7. to seven. Des Newton going up there, but it's taken by Tom Spillane. Tom still has it, Des Newton putting the hand and keeping at him, Owen Liston, Owen Liston into the space there, Tommy McDermott comes out well, but he fouls. The right corner forward, Dermot O'Donoghue, and a chance for Kerry to go three ahead. Pat Spillane complaining about that foul, which seemed to be innocuous enough. But it's a chance for Mikey Sheehy to put Kerry three ahead. And once again it's over the bar, another point for Kerry and for Mikey Sheehy. 10 to 7. About four minutes left in the game and it does seem now as if Donegal will need to get a goal. Porrick Gallagher is going to come into the game. Porrick Gallagher, Matt's brother, Thoman College student coming back into the game and he's Paul McGettigan is coming off Paul looking disappointed as he walks off there with Pori Gallagher taking his place Noel McCall Well taken by Timmy Dowd. Timmy Dowd to Mikey Sheehy. Mikey Sheehy to Dermot Donoghue to Mikey Sheehy again. And Mikey running through there to score a delightful point for Kerry. Well taken score and a round of applause for that beautiful Kerry move. And the Kerry forward lane moving very well there. The sort of combination that... Donegal haven't practiced so much today. Noel McCall, middle of the field. Malloy goes up behind, but once again, Kerry getting a lot of these breaking balls in the second half. Donny Hartnett gets a crack there. He's okay. And it's a free for Kerry, who do seem to have wrapped it up fairly well at this stage. And indeed, McHugh's going off was perhaps in many ways the turning point. Des Newton breaks it down, but again it's Kerry men all over the place now. Mikey Sheehy, Tom Spillane. Tom Spillane the shot, Tom Spillane sends it wide. But there's nobody leaving because with 10 or 12 minutes left and a kick of a ball or two kicks of a ball. And this ball comes up now to Martin McHugh. Martin has it. He's coming. He's three Kerry men around him. They take it off him. <coughs> Bomber on it now. Bomber out this side. Boot in there by Donald Reed. Free for Kerry. Body Shea to take it. Kerry 11. Donegal 7. That has been quite a, a good display by Donegal for 
40 minutes or so. Martin Griffin going up at the stage, but again it's carry on it. Uh, to Dow to Donahue, Donahue to Ogie Moore, and Ogie Moore and the shot inside. Noel takes it, and the two carry right forwards. Dow and Donahue certainly proving their worth today. We'll surely hear more about them. Michael Carr shaking off Pat Spillane, now giving it to McHugh. McHugh, could he get the point and then we'd only need the goal? Just narrowly wide. And so as we move into the last minute and a half of the game, it does look as if Kerry, who are probably geared up anyway for their National League final and probably have an advantage over Donegal in that respect, proving a little bit too good. Then she comes to the middle of the field, Martin Griffin and Jack O'Shea. Timmy Dowd. Martin Griffin. A long ball inside. Kieran Keeney going for it there. Kieran breaks down, but again it's another carry man, and they move it so well out of defence. It's Vincent O'Connor there. The fisted out to Timmy Dowd. Timmy Dowd coming away now. He's having a fine game. The long relieving ball. Brian Tuey. Fouled. Brian leaves it down. Donegal in a rush now. Come on, Donegal! And so it seems as if Kerry have come to Bala Buffet again for the third time and won in Bala Buffet for the third time. Matt Gallagher's kick going inside. Up goes Malloy. Breaks it down. Comes to Malloy himself again. He's trying to take them on. Good ball inside there to Sylvester. Can Sylvester get inside? He's fouled a free for Donegal. But it would seem that this would be just a matter of narrowing the gap. With time very nearly up though, when one comes to think of it, Martin McHugh's injury would have added another minute or minute and a half to the game. Martin narrows the gap now to a point, it's 11 to 8. And so can Donegal get this goal as we move into injury time. Very little time to go. Indeed, it's only the time for Martin McHugh's injury that is now being played. So Donegal will need to get it and plant it. Charlie Nelligan, the taker. But nobody leaving here. It's been a fine, entertaining game. And there's always hope when there's life. Nelligan's kick coming long. Malloy going up. Malloy taking it down. But somebody else must have fouled. It certainly wasn't Malloy who caught it clean. And so an important decision going against Donegal there. The kick will be taken by Jack O'Shea. Kerry men running all over the place. Fashiar, the Shah Melahul, Chenchat Swiss, the Shah Kiri, the Shah Dunning, Kun Lachanish, Willen Spillaner at Talway, Sir Hikik Dunning Al, Yelmor and Faka. Catch a rash and shin. There's a lot of throwing the ball about there. Referee has insisted on freeze being taken in the right place all along, so it isn't anything exceptional. One fears he's about to blow the final whistle and so unless we can win this one it is all over and Kerry have won this first round Centenary Cup match by 11 points to 8 but a round of applause for both teams for a very entertaining game that was a credit to the game generally. We congratulate Kerry and wish them well in the Centenary Cup. The Donegal Under-21 panel now to the dressing room, please. <laughs> 